All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry. And today we're going to be talking about the NVIDIA uh, app, formerly the GeForce Experience app, and the settings tab and what all that stuff does for you and means when you're setting this up and getting started using it. So when you first log into NVIDIA, you will see a page like this where they will advertise some of their various NVIDIA products to you like AI powered broadcasting, which is right here. Um, you can see your account in the upper corner, da 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 da. But what we're interested in today is the settings tab, which is in the little menu bar on the left hand side at the bottom. And we're going to click on settings and we're going to talk about uh, what these are. So the first thing is the NVIDIA overlay. The NVIDIA overlay is something you can enable with this toggle that functions just like the Steam overlay, just that it'll load the NVIDIA version and you can do things like you can record and stream your gameplay directly through your drivers rather than having something like OBS. Personally, I've never been terribly impressed by it. It always felt a little lackluster for features and functionality, and it was also prone to lagging out and breaking, but we'll check that out in another video. Uh, game filters and photo mode. You can customize the appearance of your game and take amazing in-game photographs. This will take effect the next time you launch a game. So if you want to do cool artistic photos that kind of like reshade things, the filters and photo modes kind of handy. You can toggle that on and off here. You can also determine whether or not you want the GeForce NVIDIA app to automatically download drivers in the background when they become available. I actually have decent internet for like once in my life, so like I don't have to worry about this. But if you find that you need all the bandwidth you can get while you're awake and working on your computer and playing on your computer, it might be a better idea to turn this off and then have NVIDIA check for updates to your drivers just before you go to bed. That way you can do all the downloading and installing while you're asleep. After that, you have the games and app section. This allows you to scan for and look at uh, what apps are currently installed on your system so that you can optimize their settings in the graphics tab for best performance or best looks. And you can also have it set so that if you like that feature, you can also have NVIDIA automatically set those settings whenever you install a new game. I would recommend not doing that because that might make it harder to troubleshoot whether or not there's something wrong with a game when you buy it and for some reason it won't launch on your system or it keeps crashing. But if you like it, you can enable this here with the little toggle on the side. I'm actually going to toggle it to automatically download drivers in the background for me. And then the last option is picking your language. I'm, you know, in the United States, so I speak English, so I selected English. After that, you've got the ability to have it send notifications to you on your desktop. I have it only do that with driver updates to let me know, hey, you have a driver pending. Because for, for me, I use the CUDA cores in my NVIDIA graphics card to process and render out videos faster. So knowing when that might be having a hiccup or, you know, the underlying systems that all talk to each other is important so that that tool for rendering videos doesn't break because it tends to freak out whenever you update it. The graphics driver anyway. Then after that is the NVIDIA about section. This is where it talks about what version of the app you are currently using. Knowing this could be important for troubleshooting problems with the app. If you ever contact NVIDIA for support, you also have the ability to opt in to new fancy versions of the software that could have bugs for beta testing. You can toggle this check mark on and off if you want to participate in that. Um, and then for privacy, you can allow them to take configuration and performance data about what you do and use the uh, the graphics drivers that they have for. You can also send error error. You can also send error and crash data. And then there's just a bunch of different links down here for places to go for more information and that sort of stuff. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at the settings tab inside of the NVIDIA app. 
for your NVIDIA graphics cards. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.